So hey guys, today I want to take a look at this 60 volt power supply that was sent to us by Banggood. When I ask if we would like to see um, a few of the items that had, I guess, a promotion for this month. This was one of them in the list that I really liked. This by Top Shack. And I've actually been wanting a zero to 60 volt power supply. Comes with an adapter. Even though it is small, I kind of like that on my bench as far as taking up less room. So we're gonna look at this today as well as, you know, take the cover off and take a look inside. So 115 volt for North America. The cord actually looks like really good quality. I'll give them that, it's pretty good. So far, so good. Make sure I charge up the caps good before I take the cover off, right? Got a good click and switch. Nice LEDs. Um, be some pretty big caps, that's good. Terminals don't feel terrible. So with no load, we do go on down. Of course, gets us up to 56 volts in the fine, takes us all the way to 61.5, so that's great. I actually like the way that they sent the alligator clips because clips are fine a lot of times. And then I'll show in a few minutes, but I, I have my plug-in banana um, plugs that I can actually plug in for something different if I want to. And these can stay attached at all times, so that's pretty cool. Yep, and that will clear, so that's okay. Here's a quick overview of the manual, if you're interested. So I got this set for one volt, just a quick test here. I have a few resistors. This is a one ohm. I use this for a lot of my um, current checks. This is a one ohm power resistor. I believe it's a five watt. So let's see, at one volt, 0 0.97, 0 0.97. So the resistor's pretty close to one ohm. And everything's reading as I would expect. Two volts, right at two amps. I'm exceeding the wattage here, but there we go. It's very linear. Cut it down right quick, it's getting warm. Awesome. Short circuit protection, which you never want to do, but just in case, perfect. I like it. I really like the size of it. Um, my zero to 30 unity power supply has actually been a really, really good one. A zero to 30 volts is a little bit limited. I have to get a drock or like a DC to DC converter out sometimes, or or I can rig up a different supply, but just, just having this small zero to 65 amp on the bench is gonna be very helpful. And I'm actually gonna let the capacitors die off and we'll take a look inside. I don't really know why they use the green wire for the, the 240 or 120 volts in our case coming in, but, but either way there they do. We do see our adjustments for our volts and our amps. For the display, it seems, uh, Screen printed, marked very well there. Pretty nice little display board with the, it actually plugs in, that's neat. The current shunts, we got a lot of electrolytics here. Some pretty big ones. 
far as input protection, we do have some X2 caps. We got an NTC. Overall, pretty impressed with it. Heat sinks good, the fan seems good. It's a 12 volt a brushless DC fan. It looks like it wouldn't be terrible to uh, replace the MOSFETs if you ever had to. I can't see the number right off, but I'm assuming they're MOSFETs. The, the knobs are not quite as nice as the ones I'm used to on my Unity, but they do actually feel good. We can't see them since they're on the board, but can't get a good look at them, but they have a, they have a really good feel to them. The knob's just smaller, which I, I do like the smaller footprint of it all, all the way around. Few of these are plastic, white plastic thread. This one had a little washer. So with it set at 12.0 volts, see what my flute reads here, 11.98. No adjustment needed on that. So if I bring over my oscilloscope, have this set for 50 volts. Hopefully you can see the screen okay. We're showing 50.4 volts VMAX. And it's hardly any, any ripple here. So as we look all the way down to two nanoseconds, ripple is extremely good. Very smooth. Let me put a load on it, let's double check it. So with the current control coming in, we still see our ripple looks good. With a two watt load here. And up and down. Millivolts. I like it. So as mentioned, I'm gonna I'm gonna let this take the place of my zero to thirty volt unity, which is probably about eight or nine years old. It's been a good it's been a good power supply. I got no complaints with it. This one being zero to 60 volt, we can see here it's gonna take up even less room. It's about the same exact depth and it's even thinner. So knobs are just a little bit smaller, but they're gonna be fine. I can just have my one supply on the bench and I got a zero to 30 backup. I can put on a shelf. So hope you found this video helpful today. To look into this Top Shack zero to 60 volt, 300 watt or five amp power supply. Hope you like the look inside of it. Um, I think it's going to work out good and we'll see it here on the bench for hopefully many years to come so you'll get to see for yourself so if you're interested in this power supply we'll have a link in the description as well as a lot of my other tools that you see and that i find useful here on my workbench so any links you click on really help support the channel and i really appreciate it yeah tucked away in there it's going to be a lot a lot smaller more out of the way gives me a little bit more room right here in front of it um Another good benefit to this one, at least for me, is the fan apparently doesn't come on until we get it, uh, you know, the heat sink up the temperature because when you first cut it on like this, you don't load it up, it's quiet. It's, it's completely quiet. So with me with videos, that's actually a good thing because the other one, it would whine all the time even if you didn't have it loaded up. So at the time of this video, we are hitting 10,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for all you do. Thanks for subscribing and um, just thanks for your support. Hopefully we're going to keep on growing. Hopefully we're going to keep on having interesting things to look at on the workbench. And hopefully we do a lot more repairs. So thanks so much for helping us grow. Thanks for watching and God bless.